Goblins, your time is up. Rest in peace, goblins. It is over for you. It's done. Your years of causing absolute chaos in Guild Wars and PvP are absolutely 100% over. Unless a new troop comes out this goblin based and helps you out on this issue. Because basically, Elementalist class has ended your reign of terror. Basically, the Elementalist class, I'm sure everyone knows about it, that third trait. If you get four match, you're going to stun, freeze, burn and entangle a random enemy on your position and you get a few of them and this absolutely just stops the goblin teams in their tracks the goblins rely on getting their never-ending loop going in a typical team like this and it's very hard for them to defend against it when you've got something like the elementalist third class we'll just jump out of this a second and show something what i mean on the troops we'll go to goblins and we'll go to um we'll put cleanse into here because to show that there's actually no nothing to display goblins and cleanse does not exist on a goblin troop sure you can have a weapon and you'll be able to pick something from here which will have a cleanse in it one way or another but you're going to break up that loop cycle then this is going to break that never-ending loop so you can put a hero in there to give them a cleanse but without that they're in a whole lot of trouble as also show by playing a team against them this is the team that can loop indefinitely We'll give it a go. All we need is an Elementalist team with some four match potential. Now, Elementalist, as I'm sure people are aware. Press the right button. Stuns, frees, burns and entangles a random enemy when matching four or more gems. And the champion talents I've gone for here are Snap Freeze, Insulated, Thunder Fist, Watery Binding, Rock Solid, Lightning Strike and Fortitude. And the way this will work is we'll try and get Forest Troll charged up. He's going to have a half start on mana thanks to Mirage Queen giving all elemental allies a 50% start with mana. And then he'll double green, that'll charge Beatrix. She's got a chance of a, she can do a cleanse as well in four matches. You can have something like King Gobtruffle here instead, but a lot of people would like because um, he's goblins, he has the extra turn himself as well. But I do like to have a cleanse in the team, which is why she is there. And our Boreal Crystal will explode a load of green gems and give a random status effect to all elementals and has a summon at the same time. But um, this is one of many kind of teams that would work and stop this kind of goblin team in their track. As long as it's elementalist and you have some format potential, this should be an absolute walk in the park. Goblins, you are just so history. Right, no four matches there straight away, so we're not off to... A flying start as we would have liked. We can get some brown now if that's a surge and we get some more green. We should be okay. This is, eh, I'd say, about 55% chance of a four match here. And we've got it, but it didn't work because I presume it went on to him. He is the only one who is immune to all status effects, devour, lycanthropy, and mana burn on that team. We've just entangled the first troop and the bottom troop. This is already enough to just stop their team in its tracks. We'll collect that anyway. But it did do presents for everybody. It's just charged up the whole... Um, everybody with that wish gem, which is interesting. I quite like the wish gems. We'll pass this Mirage Queen now to get a load of damage. And now, because that cursed everybody, that's where Mirage Queen is so good. She cursed all enemies. And now Toad Squeezer, who is ordinarily immune to all that, is now vulnerable to that as well. And he is now... Joined the rest of his team while being entangled, frozen, burnt. And this is now absolutely useless and we can now just go to town on them knowing that they have virtually no defence against what we're going to do. Every time we uh, get another four match, you're basically reapplying one of those entangles as well. The 10% chance to uh, recover from that starts again. As soon as we get this and that went on the bottom troop there, that 10% is reset back to 10%. So, it just keeps them entangled absolutely constantly. The goblins literally do not have a chance. They are absolutely done for, providing you have the elementalist. We didn't use our turn then, but they're all frozen. They get literally one turn, and that is not enough. They completely and utterly rely on their looping mechanic, which is completely and utterly killed, and bye-bye. Right, so elementalist class has killed the goblins. The only way that can change is if a goblin troop comes out in the future with some kind of cleanse in it and then 
this is the sort of thing that may happen on this game because it's constantly evolving they're changing the way things work quite a lot and i quite like it for that i love the way the fact that elementalist class has come along everybody thought it was massively overpowered and i just reminded people the other day that voice of orpheus just comes along and matches yellow and cleanses all allies and that's on three different colors so he puts a stop to elementalist there's a counter for a counter in this game quite often so there's a the video hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did why not like and subscribe catch you again next time bye for now